Welcome to r slash entitled people where this entitled family make it their mission to ruin a girl's job My entitled ex family shows up at my job Hey reddit fam with the title of this one, you know, it's a cluster frick This happened friday night and i've been struggling to put into words just how insane it was My ex-in-laws and my ex showed up at my freaking job during the biggest event of the year Every year at my job, there is a christmas themed party The dancers dress up as sexy elves, my boss dresses up as Santa, the bartenders dress up as reindeer, and the bouncers dress up as snowmen. The place is beautifully decorated as a winter wonderland, with a huge throne for my boss to sit on and custom poles for the dancers to dance around him. It's a huge thing at my job, and it's always one of the highest grossing nights of the year. It's advertised all over town that people can come, get their pictures taken with us, sit on Santa's lap, and enjoy a fun evening with custom Christmas music made by a DJ. We even have Christmas themed drinks, guys. And they're so good. I was so excited for it because I started working there this year. So it was my first time being part of this event. I was dancing that evening. So I was dressed up as a sexy elf. I was feeling great. It was pretty late into the evening around midnight when this incident took place. I was dancing on stage when out of nowhere, I heard the shrieking sound of my ex-mother-in-law crying. I turned around and there they were. My ex-mother-in-law, my ex-father-in-law and freaking Bill. My ex-mother-in-law was slapping at Bill's arm and pointing at me. I couldn't make out what she was saying over the music. All I could hear was the shrill sound of her voice. I started looking around for Kyle, my boyfriend. I couldn't see him, but I did see other bouncers, so I waved at them, trying to get their attention. We have a special wave that when a bouncer sees it, they know to come running. Bill comes to the stage and starts shouting at me while the men around him were waving cash at me He tells me to come down and to come with him that I was bringing shame to his family I ignored him. I saw a couple of bouncers heading for us So I kept dancing believing I was saved that was protocol call the bouncer and keep working to avoid making a scene It was then that I felt someone grab my ankle and pull in my panic I fall and let out a scream I look up and it's bill he'd pulled himself onto the stage and grabbed me I start kicking at him with my other foot until the bouncers finally got there and pulled him away from me I feel someone else grab me and I screamed again But when I looked up, I saw it was kyle bill and my ex-in-laws were taken into the office While I was taken backstage to ride out the panic attack kyle held me until I calmed down The police were called and I got to watch as bill was forced into the back of a police cruiser in handcuffs He's being charged with public disturbance assault and trespassing My boss was talking to my ex-in-laws telling them not to come back and warn them the police would be called if they did Despite how angry he was my boss was pretty calm and polite I then heard my ex-mother-in-law shouting about how she was going to take me to court to take my children away from me Because a godless woman like me wasn't fit to be a mother I couldn't take hearing that and I rushed at her Kyle had to grab me and stop me But I was screaming at her that she was a psychopath and she would never get her hands on my kids again That she'd raised a lying cheating emotionally abusive scumbag She raised her hand to slap me, but the bouncers and police got between us She and my ex-father-in-law got into their car and drove off after being threatened with arrest After karma been restored, we all went back inside and resumed the party I made good money that night Even Samantha, my job's entitled gossiper, couldn't deny what Bill and my ex-in-laws did was crazy Over the weekend, I got a call from someone claiming to be Bill's ex-girlfriend The one he cheated on me with I asked her how she got my number and she said she had her ways She said she decided to call me after Bill called her begging to get bailed out She told me that during their relationship My ex-mother-in-law treated her terribly and compared me and her in a lot of ways and always acted like she wasn't good enough She was relieved when they went to greece believing her and bill's relationship could be salvaged at that point But she was wrong. Bill would also talk about me a lot and she was also crying about being compared to his ex When I got the job at the club, his behavior became more erratic She told me that she confronted him after he was thrown out of the club because word travels fast and she heard about the whole thing He got angry and slapped her and then threw her out of his house She got him arrested and he was fired from his job as a result I thanked her for the information and promptly told her never to call me again She asked me why and I told her that she had no issue cheating with bill and hurting his wife and kids And that she was only calling me to get back at him for what he's done to her I hung up and blocked her. I plan to go file for a restraining order today But now i'm armed with more information that will make the process so much easier and go so much faster win for me and there we go that is the end of the first post of this episode however the post that i'm about to read you is actually a continuation of this story because believe it or not more actually happens as a result of this now i've got to say when i read the title of this i thought 
Okay, it doesn't sound too bad. I didn't think that your ex's family showing up to your job could possibly go as badly as this. It's great to see that there was some justice in the end, but as I said, this is just the beginning. Here is an update to this post. Update. Ex-mother-in-law got arrested. Hey Reddit fam, I wanted to come on here and give a little update into everything going on. For the people new to my story, I'm in general a magnet for entitled, trashy, and psychotic people. Yeah guys, I've read more posts from this user before, not related to the incident I just read, and let me tell you, they attract a lot of entitled people. That is for sure. I don't know what it is about me that draws them in, but they flock to me like moths to a flame. My mother is Bezel and then the B word for those who know me. That is what OP calls their mum. In the last post, you guys all saw how my ex-in-laws and ex-husband, Bill, showed up to my job during the biggest event of the year. I am an exotic dancer and bartender at my current job, if that wasn't obvious. My ex is bitter that I'm now in the best shape of my life and I look damn good compared to when he and I were together. I'm dating an amazing guy named Kyle and my kids are doing great on to the crazy so after my ex-in-laws were banned from my job i sought the counsel of an attorney i didn't want to wait it out anymore in hopes that they would just go away like i have in the past i'm going for the jugular with this so to speak i filed for an emergency restraining order citing my kids and i aren't safe around my ex-mother-in-law and my ex-husband my ex-father-in-law is just a shell that lets my ex-mother-in-law get away with stuff and doesn't put her in her place my restraining order was granted temporarily within 24 hours thanks to all of the evidence i was able to provide my ex-in-laws and bill were both served that very same day We had a hearing on the 23rd where I was able to plead my case and the judge got to see all of the evidence I had proving why Bill and my ex-mother-in-law are dangerous for me and my kids. My ex-mother-in-law tried to pull a classic tactic of crying and wailing whenever I talked so the judge would have to stop the proceedings to tell her to shut the frick up. Eventually, I got through what I wanted to say and showed what I wanted. Then my ex-mother-in-law and Bill were given the chance to say their piece. My ex-mother-in-law shushed Bill and completely stuck her foot into her mouth by blabbering on about religion and how God is judging me for not coming home to my husband's rule. The man is the Lord, while the woman is the subservient slave to his will, and I will burn in hell for not honoring our marriage. The judge reminded her that Bill and I are legally divorced, and my ex-mother-in-law shouted at him that no power on earth has the right to sever a marriage that is morally and spiritually binding forever. I was chosen to be Bill's wife by God, and I will honor it or there will be consequences the judge asked her what she meant and my ex-mother-in-law tried to play coy and said op will see the judge then asked bill to say his piece bill looked uncomfortable he tried to stand up but his mum grabbed his arm and told him to sit down the judge threatened to hold her in contempt and she let go grumbling at him bill then stood up and moved away from his mum. he started ranting about how crazy she is and that he didn't want to be there He thought he could manipulate me into sleeping with him, but he got tossed out on his butt when he tried and he gave up then and there. His mum is the one that is doing all of this and he wants no part of it anymore. His life is ruined because everything he's done has been in an attempt to appease her and it's blown up in his face. He then begged the judge to uphold the restraining order because his mum has told him that she plans to hurt me if I didn't comply with her demands. He said she was dangerous and unhinged and suggests she needs some kind of psychological help. His mum was freaking speechless, but one couldn't deny the look of absolute guilt plastered on her face. Turns out she does need psychological help. My ex-father-in-law then stood up and asked to say a few words. The judge agreed because he looked to be entertained by the three ring circus playing out in front of him. He went up to the stand besides Bill and confessed to the judge that my ex-mother-in-law is suffering from the effects of dementia and it's been a closely guarded secret between them for the past two years. My ex-mother-in-law was receiving treatment but stopped when Bill and I moved away from the old states. Since then, she's gotten worse and he fears what she will do if left allowed to roam free. They've always been religious, but when my ex-mother-in-law stopped treatment, she began experiencing psychotic episodes and illusions of grandeur. He also confessed that if I'd agreed to let them take my youngest to Greece, my ex-mother-in-law had no intention of bringing him back. My jaw hit the floor. My ex-father-in-law looked at me and pleaded for forgiveness for not putting a stop to the insanity sooner. Bill also apologized for the hell he'd put me through, stating he'd been an idiot and hoped that I could forgive him. Everything seemed to fall into place and things made sense. I never mentioned it, but I did notice whenever I saw my ex-mother-in-law, she'd be forgetful, stare off into space, she seemed confused at times, and sometimes she didn't know who people were. I just thought it was an act to avoid dealing with people. It was then that I heard my ex-mother-in-law shrieking. She got up and ran at my ex-father-in-law and began beating on him until the bailiff pulled her off of him. She was put into cuffs and the judge ordered her to undergo 90 days in a psychiatric treatment facility. 
She screamed, wailed, and kicked as she was carted out of the room. The restraining order was granted for a year. I was completely numb and had no reaction when the verdict was given. I was confused and gobsmacked out of my freaking mind at what I'd just heard. I almost didn't believe it even happened, and I wondered if that edible I ate beforehand to calm my nerves was screwing with my head. I spoke to my ex father in law after call. He's taking Bill back home to the old state to help him get back on his feet. He promised me that he and Bill will never bother me again, and once my ex mother in law is released, he will ensure she doesn't either. I went home and hugged my kids, and we went out to look at Christmas lights that night. So there you go. That is the end of that one. Uh, if you thought the first post was a bit mental, wow. Just imagine, picture right now in your head this mother in law in court just going completely mental not even letting her own son speak when it is directly about him very very strange and yeah the more i think about it and the more i read there the more i realize that it's probable that it's just this woman that's behind everything and she is the main issue here now i get it she has dementia that is obviously a big shock however there's a difference between having dementia and being a horrible person right like dementia doesn't make you horrible sure it can make you extremely confused and forget things because that's obvious but it doesn't make you go mental at your son's ex and just completely try and ruin their lives that doesn't really link up i'm very happy to hear that you and your kids had a good christmas and honestly despite the fact that this woman is just mental i hope she gets the help that she clearly very much needs now although that is the conclusion of that story for now at least we do have one more now the title of this one is gonna shock you kicked out of a restaurant for breastfeeding I am a 17 year old woman and I feel so humiliated. I can't believe I'm writing this So a couple of days ago I went on a walk with my baby to a park on the way back I was pretty hungry and stopped by this cafe place for a quick buy and ordered a soup I pay and sit at a table then my baby gets fussy and I know it's time for her to eat I had a bottle packed but realized I accidentally left it at home. So I just gave her the boob Then I hear a lady go are you serious? I didn't think anyone was talking to me, so I minded my business. Because that's what you do when nobody's bothering you. Then I felt some harsh tapping on my shoulder, and the same lady going, Excuse me? Annoyed someone's hitting my shoulder, I turn around and go, Excuse you? Karen's like, That's inappropriate. You need to stop. I'm like, Stop what? She says, Are you freaking stupid? Of course you are. That's probably why you have a baby so young. That was a good one. I'll give her that. She says something about this being a public place and she doesn't like that I'm exposing myself in front of her husband who's sitting at the table next to us watching his wife act stupid and I should go to the bathroom to take care of that or something. And I shouldn't bring a newborn baby. My baby is obviously too big to be a newborn out in public anyway because of Corona and stuff. She wasn't even wearing a mask and was all up in my face. So obviously not that concerned about Corona. And also guys, this was posted just a few days ago I don't know about you, but I feel like Corona is kind of done now. Now look, I'm not going to go to the bathroom because that's weird. And I'm not leaving because I'm waiting on my soup. I tried to politely tell her I'm not leaving. And if she's worried about Corona, she should back up away from me and my baby. And everyone can mind their business like normal people. She says, okay, I'm telling. Sorry, is she too? How mature? She walks off and I look over at her husband and he says, you should be more modest. I just cringe at him and look away because I'm not about to argue with a grown man. The manager eventually comes over and says, I need to stop or leave. I'm kind of mind blown because I thought kicking someone out for breastfeeding was illegal, but apparently not. I said, well, she's hungry and she's going to cry if I stop. And I'm not leaving because I'm waiting on my soup, which they said would take 20 minutes because of something going on or whatever. And at this point, there's at least 15 minutes left. So can I get a refund? He said they don't do refunds, but you can give me restaurant credit like a gift card or something. But I'm definitely not going back there, so I'm not going to need that. And I just left. Of course, Karen mumbled a few things about me being in slur here or whatever to the manager. And I told her to shut up. Then she started screaming, but I walked out the door before I could hear her to raid on me. And the manager stopped her from following me. I'm in Los Angeles, by the way, which isn't a really conservative area. But yeah, my first experience with a Karen. Okay, that's the end of that one. Now, I've got to say this one is extremely controversial. If you're watching on YouTube, you'll be able to see that I've got the comments up on the screen right here. There's a lot of information in these comments about what has exactly happened here and how what actually occurred is not only illegal, but downright disgusting as well. So first comment right here. Breastfeeding is allowed 
allowed in public in all 50 states in America. You'll find lots of information here if I'm successful with adding this link. It does start off mentioning New Jersey because that's where I am. However, it goes on to list important facts that relate to breastfeeding throughout the US. Don't let people like this prevent you from taking care of your child in the way that is best for them and best for you. Okay, so as you can see, I'm on the link now, breastfeeding state laws. And if you come down just to here, here we go. All 50 states, the District of Columbia, Puerto Rico, and the Virgin Islands have laws that specifically allow women to breastfeed in any public or private location. So there you go. It literally says it in writing right here that you're allowed legally. So I don't really understand why I've been told to, to leave why you've been kicked out when it's literally written right here that is the law you're allowed to do that therefore what the manager did is actually illegal and i think you need to do something about it all right opie has said as well here i found some info about the owner online i emailed him saying what happened i know the place has security cameras since they have that weird smile you're on camera sign also suing takes some money which i don't have a lot of time to waste being a mum, fine and they can't imagine that they sue and win, get a great compensation and the $5 they pay for the soup. Content getting the manager fired though. That is fair. Like it's not really in your interest to spam and like put all the effort in just for what? A little bit of money that you might get. You might not even get that much to be fair as you say. But yeah, I agree. You need some form of like, not even physical compensation, but justice to be done here because you were not treated fairly and here we go one more comment is linking ll usa la leche league usa they need to be informed of such actions they are the ones who have made it possible for women to feed our children without shame please reach out to them and as you can see this is all about finding breastfeeding support commit to helping families reach their nursing goals in any sort of you know domain so it's crazy. I didn't know that that was the law in America because I don't live there. But maybe you guys that are American, when you were like looking and reading along with me right there, were thinking this is not legal. And clearly something needs to be done. Get in the comments. What do you reckon should happen next? So then guys, that is going to do it for this one. I want you to let me know who do you think is actually more entitled in that last story? The woman for causing a scene and saying all this stuff in the first place and her husband or the manager for actually doing something illegal? What's worse? You let me know. I think I know my answer. Look, being entitled is one thing, but breaking the law or kicking someone out of your shop for an illegal reason, that's gotta be worse. It simply has to be.